You, fu you fucking bald bitch. Yeah, Rock you loves a bald too. bitch. Or <laughs> should the Rock sit at the head of the table? Two long motherfucking years, yo. I'm gonna show y'all this old ass fucking meme that perfectly represents what's going on in WWE right now. Y'all know, know the fucking meme, the dog in the fire, the fucking everything's fine. Yeah, that's WWE right now. That's TKO right now. Seeing what Vince, Brock Lesnar, and now what the fuck that's going on with WrestleMania. What the fuck is going on with WrestleMania, bro? I'm not even like mad what's going on. I'm just like more confused. Like, uh, there's so many questions to ask. Like, there's so many questions. Where's my phone? Where's Where's my phone? Because there's a picture that I saw on Twitter that that helps a lot. Look at this. Look Look at this shit. Look at this shit I saw on Twitter, bro. I don't know if y'all can see that well, but I'm gonna put it on the screen and shit to make it more clear. You can tell by Cody's face that he's done, bro. <laughs> he's so fucking done. Originally, I was gonna come here after work, take a shower, and then make a video about Brock Lesnar probably not gonna be in 32K24 because of what's happening with the Vince trials. And then I got home, I go on Instagram, the first thing I see is Rock squaring up next to Roman, and I got curious. I got so curious. I was like, wait a minute, Cody is supposed to be here tonight. Why is The Rock here? And then, oh my God. Cody comes out. If you didn't see SmackDown, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down to you. Cody comes out, cuts a nice promo on Roman. A nice little promo, basically saying, I'm coming after you. I, was, I got hype, I was like, bet. He, he's basically telling Seth Rollins to fuck off because if you remember Seth Rollins did a little promo on Cody telling him why are you going after Roman's belt that's a part-timer's belt you should go after my belt the hard-working belt the title belt that your father have won which he made good points Co Cody should be going after that belt but he's not and he doesn't want to and we all don't want him to because the point of the story is him going after the title that his father couldn't win Something that had been eluding his family for years. He's going to finish the story. That's the point. Cody cuts a promo on Roman saying that I'm coming after you. But not at WrestleMania. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Dude, him saying that fucking broke my heart. Not, not even breaking my heart. Fuck that. It didn't break my heart. It fucking broke my brain like Stone Cold's like, entrance, bro. That shit hurt. Like, I was, I was dumbfounded. Bruh, and then the worst thing about it is Cody then introduces the, he introduced The Rock. Cody introduces The Rock right after he said that. He's saying that I'm not coming after you at WrestleMania, but there's someone else who is. And then The Rock's music hit. Everybody loses their shit. As me and every person on commenting on Instagram and then Twitter, we're just sitting there like, Yep. They're doing it. They fucking us. They fucking us good and hard. Triple H, I, I'm like, I'm gonna tell you right now, like, you're a big dude. I don't respect you coming into my life and just like about to pound the shit out of my ass. I, I, I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. Like, even though we're birthday twins, you don't have to do that to me, bro. I understand for WWE right now it's a very confusing thing and very troubling because, uh, with what's going on with Vince, uh, Brock Lesnar not going to be at WrestleMania because of those allegations of Vince and now CM Punk has been injured it's a troubling time for y'all I understand WrestleMania looks like a very weird and very easily like destroyed event I'm not gonna lie to you we all thought Seth promo on Raw was interesting but we speculated like Cody's not gonna choose him because it doesn't make sense it just doesn't make sense you had Cody point at Roman after a Royal Rumble where I was actually excited because I wasn't like, excited that Cody won the Rumble. I was excited that they're actually going to go through it. They're going to finish the story. And I'm trying to piece like things together like, man, dude, it's like, I can't even, I can't think right now. I really can't. I had this all fucking dotted out when, before I even pressed record. Elimination Chamber's coming up then. So Elimination Chamber is next. And what I think they're going to do is Cody versus Roman at the Elimination Chamber. And... Cody probably is gonna win. So uh, uh, it's it's fucking breaking my brain. You're not probably gonna, you're not even gonna have fucking Roman. He's gonna hold that title to WrestleMania. He's gonna face The Rock, isn't he? Oh my god, it's it's so fucking puzzling, man. And 
It is another fucking like thing I gotta show you on Instagram, bro. It's, it's another thing I saw. What was the point of Cody winning the Royal Rumble then? And that's when the rumors came in, like, was Punk supposedly, was Punk supposed to win the Rumble? Like, was that the original plan? Because it seems like that was the original plan because what was the point of him not winning the Rumble then not going against Finch to face Roman and then finishing the story? It's just, it makes no sense. WrestleMania 39, I remember watching both nights. After Sammy and Kevin Owens won, the end of the bloodline, next night, Cody's gonna beat Roman with probably the help of Sammy and Kevin. It's gonna be good. We were fucking wrong. And for the whole year, Roman didn't need the title. No, don't get me wrong. I love Roman Reigns. I love the bloodline. I love the storyline, what they're doing with all of this. At this point, you can tell they're just throwing shit. They're just throwing shit at the wall to see it sticks. Because one, Jimmy and Jay, I don't even know what they're going to do with that mania because since the original plan was Brock versus Gunther and since Brock is not going to be at mania anymore, I think they're going to do Gunther versus Jay and then what the fuck Jimmy's going to do at mania now. And let's talk about the good things. Let's talk about the good things. Bailey versus EO is 100%. I'm excited for that. We're all excited for that. I like how they're doing it too. Bailey knew that they were talking shit about her. So that means 100% we're gonna get Ray Ripley versus Becky. And for Mania, I don't see early prediction right here. Rhea is winning the match against Becky. She, there's no reason why Rhea should lose that championship. It's gonna be Cody versus Seth. And I thought about this and how do you really gonna have Seth lose to Cody for the fourth time? Like really, really? I understand they're trying to get Seth on the main card to have him do something since Punk is not going to be at Mania. But they could have done something a whole different with this. They could have gave that opportunity to Drew, Gunther, or have a triple threat match with Sammy and Drew McIntyre alone. WWE Loki want us to wait more to build that more emotion, but we already waited, waited so long for Cody to beat Roman. It doesn't even feel a magic anymore. He beat Seth Rollins for a fourth time, which just proves that Cody Rose is just better than Seth. Uh, also, Seth Rollins is not even at, like 100% at his full power. Like, he's not at, at 100%. He's still like, he's medical cleared to WrestleMania, but he's he's still going to be like, not Seth. Like, you know, like, I can't explain it. He, he's still going to be like, kind of injured. But also, I have a fear that Cody's going to lose again at Mania. He's going to lose again, and they're going to just kill Cody. He's just gonna kill Cody. Do Triple H have a vendetta against Cody still? This is crazy. And then now the Rock versus Roman match, man. Oh God, they don't need the belt for that match. They really don't. They could have saved this match for another. They could have done it at the Elimination Chamber. They could have done this at uh, SummerSlam or something. Like we could have cooled off on this, man. They could have cooled. I know. I know. A lot of the big things that were hoping for WrestleMania is gone, and now they need to put The Rock in. They have to put The Rock in to make WrestleMania big, but at the same time, they're low-key killing... They're killing Cody, man. I feel bad for Cody, because he didn't come to WWE to win the world title. He came back to WWE to finish the story. He came to do something that his family couldn't do, and that is hold up the WWE Championship. Like, I know the match against Roman and Rock... It's gonna be good. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be spectacular. It's gonna, it's gonna probably gonna blow us away more than we ever thought. But damn, man, that's why I said, man, WrestleMania 40 this year is gonna be the most interesting, weird, probably surprising, and hopefully not bad. I don't want a bad WrestleMania or a bad ending again. Third time? No, it's not gonna be the third time. It's gonna be the fourth WrestleMania in a row that Roman Reigns is going to be holding up that championship. Once again, I don't hate Roman Reigns. I don't hate The Rock. I don't hate Seth. It's it's just so weird. It's a weird, it's going to be a weird mania, man. I think the only thing that's kind of changed or like be interesting for mania is that Damian Priest is going to cash in there on somebody and he's going to cash in the world title, obviously. It's either Cody or Seth he's going to cash it in on and Damian Priest is going to hold the world title at mania. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what I think. So it's gonna be Cody versus Seth at Mania. Uh, Cody's gonna win, but then he's gonna get he's gonna get cashed in on 
by Damian Priest. And all the Judgment Day is going to hold up gold at Mania. What's up, Dominic? But I think that's all I got to say, man. I, I'm i very curious what's going to go on with WrestleMania this year. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to be playing WWE 2K24 while watching it. So, eh, I don't know. Comment below. What do you expect? What's your, what's your take on this, man? What, I know some people are happy about this. Some people are not. But it's happening. Rock versus Roman. Cody versus Seth. WWE, is, it's a crazy year for the past two months. It's been two months or it's been two months. Damn, can we breathe, bro? Fuck, it's only been two months and this shit is happening already. Fuck. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just